Hey, what's up guys? Cameron here from Android Police. Uh, I want to give you a quick look at Apex Launcher for ice cream sandwich devices. Uh, this is based off of the Android 4.0.3 launcher. Uh, adds a ton of features to it like resizable widgets for any widget, uh, transition animations, custom grid sizes, um, hiding apps from the tray, all kinds of different things that you can do. Um, that you can do with this launcher. So I just want to give you a quick walkthrough and get, show you some examples of some of the things you can do. So let's just start off with resizable widgets here. As you can see, you can resize pretty much any widget on this. Um, I don't know why you would want a widget that big here for circle battery widget. Let's, uh, let's just move that back to where it was. And uh, there we go. So uh, you can also resize the grid, uh, the set a custom grid size. It'll go up to seven by seven. You can set um, custom grid size in portrait and landscape mode, so it can have two different grid sizes, which is pretty cool. Um, also, here you can see the transition animations. I have it set to tablet style, so that probably looks pretty familiar to anyone with that uh, owns a honeycomb tablet. So you can. See, I just, I, I like that. I think that's really clean. Uh, you can also do a card style animation, which is what you see here in the menu, which this is the, the stock uh, animation for, uh, for the stock launcher. So it kind of fades out and fades in from the background, fades into the background, fades back out. So uh, you can do that, bring that style to your home screens. And let's see, uh, to get into the settings menu, there we go. You double tap on your home screen, head into Apex settings, and you can see there's just there's an absolute ton of different settings here. Um, let's just start off, take a quick look at the home screen. You can change the number of screens, you can change your default screen. Um, there's where you can change the portrait or landscape grid sizes. You can also change the margins if you want a little bit more room or a little bit less room on uh, either side or the top and bottom. You can change the preview animation. Uh, infinite scrolling, so you could just keep scrolling all the way through your home screens. Elastic scrolling, so it bounces. Just a lot of really useful. Some are useful. Some are more of a novelty, like elastic scrolling. Um, there's where you can change your transition effect. None, tablet, card stack, and cube. I know a lot of people dig that cube. Uh, it's the outside of the cube. I'll show you real quick. You can see there, I haven't added anything to these other home screens yet, but you can kind of see that it's it's the outside of the cube. I kind of prefer this animation if it's if it looks like you're on the inside of the cube. Um, but either way, still a very cool animation. Uh, so let's jump back into the menu here. Uh, the drawer, you can change. You can hide apps from your drawer. You can change the style of the drawer. If you're not into the horizontal paginated style drawer, you can, uh, you can change that to a vertical paginated or a vertical continuous uh, if, if you like that. I, gotten used to the horizontal paginated style now so I tend to leave that on there. You can change your background transparency. You can add infinite scrolling to the drawer, elastic scrolling, a lot of the same effects that you'll see on your, uh, that you can add to your home screen. You can do here uh, to also to the app tray. You can change your, change your transition effect there as well. So we'll leave that as cube for now. Um, you can change the tap, the icon, Play Store, Apex Menu. You can, you know, for that center icon there. So, a um, whole lot of a whole lot of different things here. You can uh, hide the app labels. You can hide widget labels if um, if you're into that. So you can jump straight here into Docs. From there, you can change the amount of Docs here. Let me show you real quick. I haven't added anything to the second or third Doc. But uh, you can have docs, and it is also it, it infinite scrolling. So you can see there. Sorry, jumped into the system settings by accident there. Let's go back into the Apex settings here. Um, folders, another cool feature. Uh, Nova Launcher, I believe, has this feature as well, which is a launcher we looked at a, a week or so ago, a couple of weeks. Um, you can change the way the folders look like the grid, you can do iOS, if, you know, that's what you want to do. Um, you can change the folder background, ring, square, again, iOS. You can also set custom, or you can have none. So uh, that's pretty cool. You can also hide the labels there as well. Um, jumping into behavior settings, this is just a whole lot of different swiping actions, double tap actions, long press actions, so on and so forth, things like this, where you pinch to zoom, 
There you kind of get that card style view uh, similar to HTC Sense or something like that. You get that nice little zoom animation when you come when you jump back into the menu there. So uh, back into Apex settings here, advanced settings, this um, customize your menu, things that you want to see, you don't want to see. You can set Apex as your default launcher here, which you can see I have done because this is a really fantastic launcher. Um, change the language, automatically check for updates, you know, just, just typical uh, just kind of features that maybe not everyone would want to use. You can back up and restore here if you want to if you want to back up your settings try something new you can restore back to the uh, back to your your current layout quick and easy and then about apex and restart apex so um, like I said this hit the, the play store this morning uh, out of beta great launcher oh one more thing I want to show you real here real quick I know a lot of people don't like that static bar there at the top you can move that it doesn't stay you can get rid of it if you want to just remove it off there so you do not have to keep that static search bar at the top um, which is one of the biggest benefits of a custom launcher so anyway yeah uh, I'll drop the uh, the link to the to the Play Store uh, in the article uh, definitely go check it out if you're running an ice cream sandwich device the store listing says that it's compatible with ice cream sandwich tablets but the uh, but I could not install it on my transformer prime from the store so uh, I'm not really sure what the deal with that is that could be a, a quirk in the way it was set up but uh, in the store but so there you go that's a uh, first look quick look at apex launcher